नमस्ते एंड वेलकम बैक टू अवर चैनल क्यूबिड एजुकेशनल सर्विसेज वी आर सॉल्विंग द एस आर एफ टू टेस्ट ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन फिजिक्स सेक्शन एंड वी हैव कम्प्लीटेड ऑल ऑफ द क्वेश्चन एक्सेप्ट टू एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व द सेकेंड लास्ट क्वेश्चन विच इज बेस्ड ऑन थर्मल प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ मैटर क्वेश्चन नंबर फिफ्टी नाइन टू आइडेंटिकल ऑब्जेक्ट्स ए एंड बी आर एट इनिशियल टेम्परेचर्स टी ए एंड टी बी विथ टी ए ग्रेटर दैन टी बी रिस्पेक्टिवली The specific heat capacity of the material of these objects increases with temperature. If these two objects are brought in contact, then their final equilibrium temperature is T. Assuming that there is no heat exchange with the surroundings, then T is greater than T A plus T B upon two. T is greater than T A. T is equal to T A plus T B by two, and T is equal uh, is less than T A plus T B by two. Now to solve this problem, we have to first understand the meaning of the statement. The specific heat capacity of the material of these objects increases with temperature. Okay, so what what does this mean? This means that for every one Kelvin rise in the object's temperature. okay we need or we will need we will need more amount of heat okay more amount of heat than what was required what was required for the previous one kelvin rise see because we know this formula q is equal to mc delta t correct q is equal to mc delta t where c is the specific heat n is the mass and delta t is the temperature rise or temperature change and here we are considering the temperature to be rise now what they are saying is the specific heat capacity of these objects increases with temperature which means if mass and delta t do not change object is anyways the same so mass is same and what about delta t delta t is one then q will depend on c so q will be a function of c that is the per degree per kilogram heat required okay or per kelvin heat required now if c is increasing with temperature so is q okay so that's that's the most important part of the problem if you understand that then there is no problem in solving absolutely no problem in solving the question okay now uh, ta is greater than tb okay ta is greater than tb ta is greater than tb okay now suppose we show it here say this is ta and this is tb now generally we show it in such a way that the numbers or the magnitudes increase from left to right but in this case they are increasing from they are rather decreasing from left to right okay now suppose suppose temperature of object a falls by a kelvin okay let us say it becomes ta minus 1 now the heat that is released okay the heat released by a okay heat released by a is actually will actually be greater okay heat released by a will actually be greater than the heat that b would take to go from tb to tb plus 1 please understand this okay heat released by a will be greater than heat required by b to raise its temperature by 1 kelvin why is that again the same argument the heat required per kelvin rise in temperature is a function of specific heat so if ta is greater than tb then if the temperature of a falls by a degree or by by a kelvin then the heat that is released will be in excess of what it is required to raise the temperature of object b from uh, tb to tb plus 
Now, similarly, we can argue for the successive temperatures, and we can arrive finally at the conclusion that point three body B will acquire temperature will acquire temperature uh, T A plus T B by two sooner than body A. Why is that? Because to go from uh, T B to T A plus B less amount of heat is required than what T A or what body A is actually going to release. Okay? Because of the same argument. Okay, heat released by A in per degree, per degree fall in it will be greater in magnitude than heat required by B to increase or to raise its temperature by a Kelvin. So where will that excess heat go? That excess heat will go in further increasing the temperature of the body B by some amount. We are not interested in that amount. But the conclusion is that body B will acquire Ta plus Tb by 2 sooner than body A. And again the heat exchange is going to continue. Which means the final temperature will be somewhere closer to Ta than Tb. So T has to be greater than Ta plus Tb by 2. So T has to be greater than Ta plus Tb by 2, that is option A. Now this is all qualitative description because we don't know how exactly it increases with temperature. We don't know the actual function. We cannot uh, find the uh, T equal to something. Okay, We have to talk about uh, the answer in terms of inequalities. Okay. Now, uh, let me also uh, explain you the same problem with a simple mathematical approach. Okay, so suppose this is TB initially and this is TA initially. Okay, and uh, here I have marked TA plus TB by 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, just uh, a simple numerical example. And suppose that the specific heat increases by uh, 1 unit. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay, now look here. Suppose the body B's temperature becomes uh, Tb minus 1. Okay, body B's temperature becomes Tb minus 1. So how much uh, heat, so to speak, is released? Let's say 8 units. 8 units of heat is released. So this 8 units of heat, when you utilize this in Ta's increase in the temperature, where will it be? It will cross this, it will cross this, it will cross this, so it will be somewhere here. 3 plus 2 is 5, uh, sorry, yeah, 3 plus 2 is 5, 5 plus 1 is 6, and 6 for plus 4 is 10, so it will be somewhere here. And when you go to a further fall in B's temperature, let us say 7, okay, it would it would be somewhere here, okay, 2 plus 1, 3, 3 plus 3, 6, 6 plus 4, 10, and 10 plus 5, 15, so somewhere here, okay. So, you can see that when body B's temperature falls by 2 Kelvin, the body A's temperature rises by 1, 2, 3, 4, well, 5 Kelvin. Okay, and it has already crossed Ta plus Tv by 2. So, the equilibrium will be reached somewhere here. Okay, fine. So, that is a simpler way, I would say, a, a more visual way to solve the, the problem. Question 59, option A. Now we are only one problem away from completing the physics section of the SR Aptitude Test 2020.